So today I'm at Herco's open house in High Wycombe and uh, this event has been running throughout the week and it is really great to see uh, the doors open and people coming in by appointment only to look at Herco's technology. So over the next two minutes I'm going to show you what's here this week um, but not forgetting that they're going to have another open house like this in the not too distant future. So this should encourage you uh, to attend that one. Let's start with their most popular selling machine. This is the VM10. When it comes to a machining centre, this is their, their best selling uh, milling machine. And you can probably see why. Perfect for general industry. Um, the footprint on the machine is very small. It comes equipped with all the standard features that you would expect with a Herco machine. Sidearm tool changer, uh, you know, high speed spindle, and then, of course, the Max 5 control, touchscreen control. This is their best-selling VMC. We move on to also another very good seller, which is the VM20i. And here you can see the demonstration that is being put on this week for people that are coming to attend the open house, just to show that these machines aren't just three-axis machines, but you can use them to do, uh, or the machine, more faces. And again, the Max 5 easy-to-use control. Then your VMX42i. This could be interpreted as really a meter machine. Uh, one of the areas in industry that engineers do tend to opt for is the meter VMC with half a meter in the Y axis. And this is Herco's offering on that style of machine. Again, running a hardened steel demo on this particular machine. And here you've got two screens on the control. I do really like the VM60i. This is the next machining center. This is the biggest C-frame machine that they do. And you're now up to kind of a meter and a half in the x-axis. Nice demonstration on here. High-speed machining uh, their own logo into that piece of steel. Double screen, twin screen, max five, touch screen control. Easy to program, fast processing times. What about turning? Well, here we have the TM6. This is the smallest lathe that Herco do. And interesting to uh, hear from one of the guys earlier that this machine actually now comes um, with all of the features on the new Max 5 control that you would expect on turning. For example, uh, harmonics functions, so you stop chatter when you're turning. Also, thread repair, so you can pick up threads in different positions in cycle. TM6, great if you're looking for a small turning center. Then we have the TM8 here. This is a really interesting machine because it's been fed, or it's being fed by one of Herco's uh, automation solutions here. This Cobot uh, is a loading system. Now this machine is actually just a two axis lathe. But the beauty of having a loading system like this is the, uh, the, the communication between the control and the touch screen on the, or, or the pendant here is absolutely seamless. And it means that you can not just do one operation, you can turn the part over and then machine the second side. So that's the TM8i being fed by a robot or a cobot. This is the TM8mi. This is again one of Herco's latest launches on the turning side. Now they've done a lot of developments on the turning centers over recent years and they're now um, ready to hit the market. We've been to a couple of their customers that have their new machines. What I can tell you about the machines technically is compared to their predecessors, they're, they're bigger or in terms of capacity in the same footprint. The machines are more powerful, they're heavier, and they have cycles that you would associate on the milling side, on the machining centers, also in the controls for when you're um, trying to do milling in conjunction with your turning on a, uh, a mill drill machine. The VMX42 DI, perfect for tool makers. This is where Herco now step into a machine that has a direct drive spindle quicker acceleration, quicker deceleration. Uh, this is better for, if you're looking for those, uh, you know, perfect surface finishes at higher speeds, then the D range is a brilliant option. Again, with a, with a double screen there on the machine, touchscreen control, the Max 5 control. One of industry's favorites, the VMX42 SRTI is the next machine that's able to be demonstrated here. Here you've got your tip in head, which enables you to get to more faces on the component. Uh, and in addition to that, you've obviously got your integrated table here, which is your uh, C-axis, which will enable you to, again, reposition the component so you can hit different sides. These machines do very well in industry because engineers like to be able to still utilize the full size of a bed like this at the same time as being able to offer their clients five-axis machining. Sticking with the five-axis theme, this has been described as more of an entry-level five-axis machine, the VC. 500. 
One of the areas that is uh, one of the areas that people point out about this machine is how the double door access here makes it very easy for you, very easy for the operator to get in and load the parts. If it's your first entry into five axis, then the VC500 is definitely an option that can be considered. And the final machine, their most popular selling five axis machine, which is the VM30 or VMX30 UI. Again, this is a machine that can be offered with a high speed spindle up to 18,000 RPM. It's the best selling five axis machine here in the UK market. Herco have put on this open house this week because demand for their product continues to increase even in tough times like we're in at the moment with um, the COVID crisis. But they are having another open house like this where you can make an appointment and come here and see any of these machines in action, talk to them about uh, what goes into the, into the build of the machines, the technical aspects of the machines, and they'll be doing that in due course and dates for that will be coming onto the MTD CNC website. But as for this week, talking to David Waghorn, the managing director, he's been very pleased that he's been able to put this event on safely and people have been coming by appointment, they've been visiting throughout the week and he's even sold machines, which is really good to hear, certainly in the current climate.